welcome back. How did you get on? Did you manage to work out what this strange document is? Let's take a closer look at it. First of all, let's think about the shape of it. So we can see it's an oval shape with a little curve at the top. And then the colour, it's mainly dark brown with black patches. And then I can also see hints of yellow as well. What could it be? The texture is very odd. It's got dimples and then a large crack down the middle of it. What do we think it is? And then what is the object being kept in? So I can see a shine in the corner. Could that give us a clue about the material? And I can also see some tears around the whole of the object. What is this material? And does that give us a clue about what this object is, the way it's being kept? Okay, you might want to pause the video here to have a last think about what this document is. So I'm going to reveal the full document now. If you can read this, it says one whole lemon. So this is a lemon. Did you manage to work that out? It seems like a very strange thing to keep in the archives. So I still have quite a few more questions about this document. My first question is how old is this lemon? And I think we've got quite a few clues from the way it looks. So thinking about the texture, it's very dried out, isn't it? So it suggests it's quite old and it's also been preserved. Also the colour, it doesn't look like a lemon that you would buy in the shops that looks a lot more like this. And I think it's also been cut in half as well. So from what time period do you think this lemon is from? My next big question is why do we have an old lemon in the National Archives? The National Archives is the official government archives for England and Wales. So we keep documents safe for the people who run the country. But why would they want to keep an old lemon? Now, we've got a few clues. So we've got the writing one whole lemon, but we've also got a number, 43. What do we think that could mean? We also have the document that it was kept in. So this is the envelope. I can see it says one whole lemon. We know that already. But then there's some other writing. So in the bottom left hand corner, we've got Commissioner of Police of the Metropolis. Now, Metropolis means the capital city of a country. But why does it say police? What could that have to do with a lemon? I can also see we've got the document code here. The National Archives actually has over 11 million documents in it. So we need a very effective filing system. The code can often give us a clue about what the document is about as well. So this one says CRIM 1683. CRIM is actually short for a longer word. What do you think that word could be? And then we've also got that number again, 43. I still don't know what that means. Lastly, we've got the phrase at the top of the envelope, on his majesty's service. Now, I have seen a similar phrase to that on a series of films that I've watched. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it sounds very official. So could that give us a clue about why we have this lemon? But also, does it give us a clue about how old it is and what time period it's from? So to recap, we want to think about what time period this lemon's from, using some of the clues we've uncovered, and also why we have this lemon. So remember, we've got the clue of the mention of police, and we've also got that code, CRIM. Have a think about those things and click on part three when you're ready.